Hi everybody, in this video I'm going to show how to shoot in aperture priority mode, underwater photography with no strobe or flash. For a proper exposure, three things affect our shutter speed, okay? The amount of available light, the size of our aperture, okay, and our ISO setting. Now, with regard to the amount of available light, if we're shallow on a bright sunny day, we have a lot of available light, there's really no need to even worry. We shoot an aperture priority, we're going to have a fast shutter speed and stop the action every time, regardless of our aperture and ISO. So we keep our ISO set low to avoid noise, and we adjust our aperture for how much depth of field we want on the image. Pretty simple. However, in low light conditions, all right, we have to be very concerned about having too slow of a shutter speed and then having a blurred image from motion blur. We might then need to open our aperture or increase our ISO setting, all right? <clears throat> now, in this video, I'm going to show examples of recent underwater images I took with my Canon Compact GX7 camera in aperture priority mode. I set the ISO, I set the aperture, I take the image. Then I do two important things. One, I look at the LCD and see my shutter speed and I have to determine, is it fast enough to avoid motion blur? And as I said before, accept acceptable shutter speed varies. If there's minimal movement and if I'm zoomed out like wide angle, a very slow shutter speed like one tenth of a second or slower might be okay. I still might get a clear image, no motion blur. However, if there's excess movement by me or the subject, or if I'm zoomed in like high magnification or telephoto, I'm going to need a faster shutter speed to stop the action, maybe 1 80th of a second, 1 hundredth of a second, or even more to avoid motion blur, okay? So one thing, I have to determine if my shutter speed's fast enough. What's the second thing? Well, if my shutter speed is too slow and I'm worried about motion blur, I have to be able to quickly change or adjust my aperture or ISO on my camera housing to obtain a faster shutter speed. So I have to set up my Canon and my Ike Light housing and practice topside so I can quickly do this. And you should figure out how to do this with your camera setup too. Let's check out some examples. Here's an example I'm shooting in pretty bright light. Okay, this is a sunny day, I'm pretty shallow. I had an open aperture, and I had a low ISO setting. I don't have to worry at all because I have very bright light. In fact, I shot an aperture priority, and it turns out I looked at my LCD, my shutter speed was 1 2,000th of a second. All I had to do was focus on this Barracuda, and I definitely froze the action. No motion blur, crystal clear image of this Barracuda, okay? When you're under a very high light, and you shoot aperture priority, you don't have to worry about motion blur. All you've got to do is focus on the image. You can adjust your aperture however you want for depth of field. Keep your ISO low. You're going to get no motion blur because you're going to have a fast shutter speed. Now here, this is a little different. I'm shooting in a little bit of a lower light. My aperture was moderate. My ISO was moderate. My shutter speed, I shot an aperture priority and I was disappointed. I looked at my shutter speed. I said, oh man, only one tenth of a second. I'm going to get motion blur. That's too slow. But you know what? It was a pretty clear image. Why? Because I was still, my dive buddy was barely moving. I was shooting wide angle. I got kind of a clear image. I got away with such a sh slow shutter speed of one tenth of a second. It's just an example of what I was talking about earlier. Here, completely different. This was in low light. I shot aperture priority, so my shutter speed stays open long enough to get me an adequate exposure. I had my wide open aperture, my ISO was kind of low, and my shutter speed was 1 50th of a second. I said, hey, that's pretty fast. I might get away with it. I was focused on the fish, but I was moving in the current and the fish was moving. Even though I focused on the fish, it's blurred, motion blur. So 1 50th of a, sec of a second here was not fast enough to freeze the um, action. This is a little different. Similar setting, open aperture, low ISO. I got away, I got uh, aperture priority. I ended up shooting 1 40th of a second when I looked on my LCD screen. But you know what? That was enough to freeze any motion blur. The scorpion fish, you can see the eye to the right. The scorpion fish was kind of disguised. I opened my aperture because I wanted to separate it from the busy, distracting background. It's still a little bit of a messy background, but it's blurred because of so, such poor depth of field with an open aperture. That's what I was going for. I was trying to separate the scorpion fish from the messy background. So I got a a uh, shutter speed of 1 40th of a second, and it's enough to freeze any motion. I was settled on the seafloor. I was still, the scorpion fish was still 1 40th of a second, enough to get a clear image of the scorpion fish. 
Well, two more examples. This is close focus wide angle. I got this juvenile ray, really cool, a small ray, just a few inches in, in size there. And you can see the arrow pointing to it because it kind of blends with the background. And I focused on it, locked my focus, or recomposed my picture to get my dive buddy in the background. I had an open aperture and I got away with a very fast shutter speed because my aperture was so wide open, one two thousandths of a second. So I froze any motion blur, but my dive buddy's really blurred. Why? Because of very poor depth of field with an open aperture, right? So in order to get a clear image of both the ray and my dive buddy, I would need to close my aperture, which is what I did. But then I would get a blurred image from motion blur because the shutter, speed, the shutter would be open much longer. So what did I do? I also had to bump up my ISO. So I increased, I mean, I decreased my aperture as much as possible. I went down to F11 and I bumped up my ISO from 250 to 800. And now I still focus, lock my focus on the ray, recompose the picture. Now I got a clear image of the ray and a clear image of my dive buddy because of the better depth of field with a small aperture. And the ray is still pretty clear. I didn't get any motion blur because I still ended up with a pretty quick shutter speed of 1 300th of a second. So I hope this was helpful. I'm just showing you a few examples of the things you can think about when you're shooting aperture priority and trying to judge what might be an acceptable shutter speed. I really hope you found this helpful. In my opinion, aperture priority mode is by far the easiest and best way to get cool underwater images with a compact camera using available light, no flash or strobe. You get a good image every time, good proper exposure I should say. You control your depth of field by choosing your aperture and it's pretty easy. If your shutter speed is too slow, you increase your ISO or aperture at the cost of noise or less depth of field. I hope you found this helpful and thanks for tuning in.